A rational equation is an equation that involves rational expressions. In this lesson, you will learn how to solve rational equations. For example, let us solve for x in the given rational equation 1 fourth equals 3 over x minus 1 half. So the first thing na gagawin natin is to find the LCD. So to find the LCD, tignan natin yung mga denominators ng mga fractions or rational expressions na ito. So we have 4, x, and 2. So generally speaking, if we want to find the LCD, the first step na gagawin natin is to factor the denominators. So pakita natin dito sa side na to. So recall that to factor 4, we know that 4 is equal to 2 times 2. And that is the same as 2 squared. x, kapag pinactor natin, is still x. 2, when factored, will give us 2. So basically, ang next step na gagawin natin is to look for common factors. May kita natin na dito meron tayong 2 squared at meron tayong 2. So common sa kanila si 2. But to find the LCD, kukunin natin yung may pinakamataas na exponent. In this case, we're gonna get 2 squared. And that is 4. And here, meron pa tayong matitirang factor ng denominator natin na x. And kukunin din natin yan as part ng ating factor. So 4 times x is 4x. Therefore, the LCD ng rational equation na 1 fourth equals 3 over x minus 1 half is 4x. So next step is to multiply the LCD sa bawat terms na meron tayo sa rational equation. So that means 4x times 1 fourth equals 4x times 3 over x minus 4x times 1 half. After that, si simplify natin. Pwede naman ang gawin natin uh, the, the conventional rule. So 4x times 1 divided by 4. Or simply, kapag may nakita ka common factor, kaya mo simplify si 4x sa itong 4, kung denominator natin, po pwede mo gawin yun bago mo i-multiply kay 1. Okay? So, 4x divided by 4 is x times 1 and that is x. 4x divided by x is 4 times 3, that gives us 12. Negative 4x divided by 2 is negative 2x times 2 we have negative 2x. And in this case, linear na yung ating equation. So to solve for x, kailangan malipat natin si negative 2x doon sa left side. And to do that, we have to add positive 2x on both sides of our equation. So we have x plus 2x equals 12 minus 2x plus 2x. Take note, ang ginamit natin is addition property of equality. Na kung ano yung inad natin sa left side must also be added on the right side. So, by simplifying x plus 2x, we get 3x. And then, take note here sa ating right side of equation, ang matitira na lang natin is 12. Okay? Because negative 2x plus 2x is 0. So, makakancel na yun. Next is to divide each of this by 3. So, when 3x is divided by 3, we get x. And 12 divided by 3, we get 4. Therefore, x is equal to 4. Pero hindi pa ito yung natatapos, no? Hindi pa ito yung last step. We need to check our solution. So, check natin si x equals 4 kung masasatisfy niya yung ating rational equation. So, 1 fourth equals 3 over x minus 1 half. So, substitute natin si x doon sa ating equation. And so, we have 1 fourth equals 3 over 4 minus 1 half. And then, simplify natin further yung nasa right side ng ating equation. And take note, makikita natin that the LCD ni 4 and 2 is 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 3, we get 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1, we get 2. And since the operation is subtraction, meron pa tayong subtraction dito. And then by simplifying further, we get 1 fourth equals 3 minus 2 is 1 over 4. Ayan. And therefore, makikita natin na nabalance yung ating left and right side of the equation. So, it means x equals 4 is a solution to the given rational equation. For the second example, let's solve for y in the given rational equation. y plus 3 over y minus 1 equals 4 over y minus 1. 
by inspection, makikita natin that the denominators are the same, which is y minus 1. And that makes our LCD 1 minus 1. Okay, dahil pareho naman sila. So, let's multiply these two rational expressions by the LCD y minus 1. So, we have y minus 1 times y plus 3 over y minus 1 equals y minus 1 times 4 over y minus 1. And as you can see, in technique, may kita nyo that y minus 1 is divisible by the denominator y minus 1. So, we can simplify that no? para mas magi mabilis. So, y minus 1 divided by y minus 1 is 1 times y plus 3, and that gives us y plus 3. y minus 1 divided by y minus 1, that is 1, times 4, we get 4. Or simply, may kita mo, since pareho naman yan, cancel lang yan, y minus 1 cancel, kaya matitira si y plus 3 equals 4. By simplifying, solve natin si y, so let's... Add negative 3 on both sides of the equation. So we have y plus 3 minus 3 equals 4 minus 3. So we can cancel 3 on the left side. So patitira na lang si y. And we have 4 minus 3 and that gives us positive 1. Now let's check whether positive 1 is really a solution to the given rational equation. Check natin by substituting the value of y in this given equation. So, y plus 3 over y minus 1 equals 4 over y minus 1. Magiging 1 plus 3 over 1 minus 1 equals 4 over 1 minus 1. By simplifying further, we get 1 plus 3. That gives us 4. y minus 1 is 0. So, we have 4 and then y minus 1 is 0. But unfortunately, the denominators here are both 0. And that makes the expression undefined. At ito yung ayaw natin mangyari, no? Whenever we perform operations sa ating fractions or rational expression, and in this case, sa ating rational equation. And in that case, it only means that the answer natin kanina na y equals 1 is called an extraneous solution. So when we say extraneous solution, well, basically, it is an apparent solution that does not solve the equation. And in that case, y equals 1 is called a false solution. And if that's the case, we can therefore conclude that y plus 3 over y minus 1 equals 4 over y minus 1, ating rational equation has no solution. And that is how we solve rational equations. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something today.